Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to my Mountain of Shame. Today we have Lovecraft's there Untold is a Story. Gift in a mysterious and limitless cosmos to which mankind is as ignorant as it is insignificant. Those who have left the humanity far behind whisper of the great old ones. Why does Europe look just as green as part of the, of the Indian Ocean? Fabric of our malignant reality. In their wake there is only insanity and death. This is why the stories of the rare few to stand against them go untold. That's the rare fruit to stand against them. That one in the middle looks really creepy, can I just say? Alright, well, I guess we have Lovecraft's Untold Stories, a 2019 game by, well, it says LLC, Blinny Games, Fulgrim Publishing. So, okay, let's just jump in. Look at the, um, look at the options first, because that's always important. Languages, yeah, a number. Uh, Russian, I think that is. English, Spanish, German, and Italian. Okay. Controls look very basic, but at least can be remapped. Very nice. Resolution, V-Sync, which I'm going to keep on because that'll help recording. Yep, yeah, no, I didn't actually want to do anything, so it's fine. Let's go, yeah. All right, I guess I'm just going to start a new story. Um, so yeah, we got, okay, novice story collectors. What if I've played simple games, I like to prevent the old ones from winning despite all their horrors. For lovers of stories who have never played such games and would like to try their hand at resisting the old ones and their horrors. For experienced cl story collectors looking for new challenges. Well, clearly I've got to go for normal, but uh, I kind of like the three little art styles here. It's got like, ah oh, yes, Cthulhu, fantastic. Demons, I'm on board, friend. This guy's like taking it seriously and being like, yeah, I'm in. And this one's like, oh, but they like a teddy bear. Some, some, some milk. A little bit insulting if it's implying that's the player that needs that, but okay. Let's go with normal. So we've got Detective John Murphy. And is that everyone? Yes, okay, just Detective Lord John Murphy. So we might as well read what his description says. Detective John Murphy. Murphy hails from New Orleans Police Department where he served under the celebrated Inspector Legrasse. Murphy's tough, straight talking, has a clean eye for facts and targets. Legrasse had a profound effect on Murphy. Wasn't just the art of detection Murphy learned for the old man. In the grass, he found a father figure he'd always lacked. When the grass returned from St. Louis, pale withdrawn after attending, of all things, the American Archaeological Society's annual meeting, and suddenly retired. It so rocked Murphy that he also handed in his notice. Unwilling to work under anyone else, Murphy set up his own PI firm on his desk. Debt Murphy keeps exquisitely casted Gorgon statue. The grass gift left him as a parting gift. You retire of the blue. There's no contact for months. Then telegram reading. Murphy, stop. Chateau Hill, Massachusetts, stop. Ring gun, stop. Urgent help needed, stop. Bayou cult, Bayou cult, stop. Well, I'm here for you, Legras. Alright, so WASD. And we shoot with the mouse pointer. So that seems fairly reasonable. Move and shoot at the same time in all directions. Use a keyboard and mouse. Oh, okay, so it's a, it's a twin stick. It's a twin stick. So one stick for moving, one stick for shooting. It's a twin stick. Okay, fair enough. This is fair. So I can shoot anywhere. So can I... Okay, I can also aim anywhere by this. That's good. Alright, let's go in. I feel like it's going to jump me straight into combat because uh, that does not look like something I'm going to just be able to um, get through easily, no. Eesh, if I knew this is a horror game, I would have asked um, Para or Foosh for some help, but oh well. <laughs> jump, that's good. Ooh, chest. Oh. This lock can only be picked over with a special key. Well, that's useless. Oops, didn't actually mean that. 
Can I reload? Yes, I can. I'm going to assume I don't have any limits. I also find it interesting that this guy doesn't have a shotgun on his back or anything. He's like literally just running around with a shotgun. Like he doesn't actually know what's going on. This is bring gun. Doesn't mean like bring gun and start shooting it wildly. It could just be like a party and they're like, oh yes. It's America after all, isn't it? Actually, no. It could be Britain. I wasn't paying much attention to where, where if they said where it was, but okay. Alright, let's just go. Lovecraft is more likely to be, uh... More likely to be Britain, but, um, same token. This guy seems American. Oh, hello. Fire of Sugar Fills is here. The grass is brand. Okay. Someone's been smoking. Got a hundred info. Didn't actually get anything from it. Okay, this is interesting. Blood and stuff on the halfway that's okay uh, huh. Let's walk for this no okay I must be entirely blind so I don't see the path I'm meant to go but that's okay I'll go back up this way and see if I can go back around here because I didn't see this path over here no oh I can now I blow this up Hold up. Okay, so I actually have to destroy things. The moral story. Okay, so we're literally using the gun to get through. Okay, sure. Let's get a notebook. Okay, fair. Info, info, and that's it. Now, I kind of noticed this is full of... Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, I thought that was uh, some random stuff. I didn't think it was actually full of explosives. That might actually be useful. I, mean, I still kind of want to find the uh, key if I can. That's so good. So we've got a corpse. One of the secret societies the cults have been encountering. Tongue has been split down the middle. Several teeth have been filed. The finger and toenails have been removed and cauterized. There's a crudely performed partial castration. The navel has been shown shut. Shut. The nipples have been removed. I mean, uh, I, I mean, phew. At least knowing this will make it easier to spot them in the future. But what? I mean, you don't actually know who did this. Creeping us aside. Before we go there, it looks like I can go back and get that key. So uh, let's definitely take the time to get that get that chest open because we did get an iron key just then. Wait. Oh, I can hit it as well. I don't actually need to shoot them. I can hit them. Okay, that's fair. Weird that they've literally blocked the place off, can I just say? Oh, but didn't I find the iron key? Yeah, place. Open. There we go, an ank. Doctor's bag, a medic kit. Okay, not entirely sure what the ank is for. Realistically. I don't know where the ank is. Oh, there it is. I already equipped it. Okay. Sign that protects from evil. Oh, and look, I think I even see it on him. Okay, cool. With this level of um, pixel art, you wouldn't expect necessarily things you're holding to make too big of a difference to the character, but uh, that's a nice touch. Let's go inside, turn the lights, get out of this rain. Oh. Throw explosives. Well, that was lucky, I suppose. Several footprints. There was struggle here. This doesn't look good. Okay. More info, though, once again, doesn't actually tell us what that info actually is. Sorry, it's 
last one. Okay, nothing here. All right, I guess the the actual fighting will probably start in here, I suppose. You're inside. You're enveloped by the twilight and smell of old furniture. The walls of expansion are thick enough and impenetrable for extraneous sounds. They reliably keep their secrets. Only distant rustles and your heartbeat are audible. Hmm. Okay. So I knew it was a Lovecraftian horror thing. I just didn't think it was a horror horror thing. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So this is a several different doors. These could be... Nope, they're different doors. Alright, okay. So we came in here and we got four different choices. The question is, is this going to be a... Uh, roguelike or is this like randomization or is um is this place gonna be exploring i don't know okay the longer it goes about there actually being enemies though the uh more i'm going to be a little bit apprehensive to be honest because um when there's no enemies that's quiet and when it's quiet it's uh too quiet okay do i really want to walk in this okay let's find out armor european armor examine graved word la mourish sacre du frieche ambrose qui a vantu le beta de organ libiante the terra dune flu Nakur. I have no idea what that means, but apparently it's got a lot of intel, and those eyes are now glowing. Lovely. Okay, don't like that. Why the fuck did that door just open? Or close? I think this door just opened. Okay, I don't like this. Okay. Um, I have a, I have a gun, though. I have a gun. I have a gun. I have a gun. I have a gun. Open for a split second, I heard what I thought was a scream, but maybe it was a hiss of steam. Oh no, there are charred remains of human hand bones still clasped together as if in prayer. What happened here? Oh god. Hmm. Okay, this is definitely a horror game, even though the ma the thing didn't actually say it's a Lovecraftian, which is horror, granted. Action adventure. Some of the pictures were a lot brighter though. They were a lot more like brighter pictures than where we're currently at now on the Steam page, so. Oh boy. Alright. If I know this is gonna be a horror, I would have um asked Foosh or Para to come or someone to come. I don't know. Uh, okay. Wait, that one just made me to go entirely different room. Sorry, if that's going all the way around there, I don't want part of it right now. Okay, can I break that? No, no, I cannot. Alright, let's just go back. I want to see the other side. Let's just take my time here. Okay. Oh god, what? Okay, as I said, I'm happier this side now, because I was there want people to kill, and quite frankly, I mean, I don't know if he was a bad person, but quite frankly, in this dungeon, I'm just going to kill everyone I see. I'll probably become the horror at this point. Doll of naked mer naked woman. Oh, I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Move the arm, the doll swells and contorts my hand, going soft and plumpy, spreading like a seed's tumor. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's a whole body now. Lovely. A lot of blood around. And there was a completely possibly innocent person I killed before. Well. Eh. Okay. It's bound soft letter with Pond family embossed along the front. The first photograph I see is a stage sepia image, rather charming looking family consisting of young man with some quite nautical clothing and demeanor. A pretty young wife, two little children, leaving through the pages is like a journey through the family's history. Oh dear, it seems the young mother is unwell. Her skin changes in time and posture hun hunches. Oh lord, his wife's ill fortune seems to be taking a terrible toll on the sailor. 
He now poses far away from her and has the look and eyes has changed. The children are young adults, but too have changed, inherited their condition perhaps. Last few images, the wife has vanished, completely dead of her disease and children. Last photograph shows the man slumped in a chair, buttons in his shirt, nips mask, bottom rum open behind him. Only one of his children is in the image. A young man has already lost both his ears. But her affliction visits the family. Hope I never see it firsthand. And once again, I lost my sanity again. Okay, I don't like the fact that every time I do this, I just completely start... Is there anything I can do to increase my sanity? Full health, full health. Use some bandages. Yeah, that's... I'm still full health, though, so... Great. <laughs> okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do everything. Let's touch everything. It's a play. The second act is easily torn out. Someone's written the back cover. Do not read this. Fear the pallid mask. Oh, great. Lost more of my sanity. Okay. Fantastic. Good to know. Good to know. Don't know what that effect's going to have on me. Probably means instead of seeing humans, I'll start seeing something horrifying, which is lovely. It's just me. Yeah. I'm just me. I regain sanity. Okay. I feel like I could have made myself more insane there just by choosing the wrong choice. Okay. Fine. I can kill people. That's okay. Murder is fine. Oh, okay. Murder is good. Murder is good. Murder, murder, murder takes out some stress. Yes. Yes, you have. Yes, these are definitely bad cultists is what we're learning here. Almanac of Occultism. Lovely. Well, I feel like I'm at least less insane than I was before. Oh. And this goes back here. Alright, let's go back this way then. There's something else there. Something in red. Which is lovely. Oh, oops, I missed that. That's what it was. Oh, hello. I almost missed that. Iron key. Well, it's a good thing I came back then. Because, uh, definitely was missing that before. Now, I wonder if the enemies respawn, or... Oh, a bird! I should definitely pause for a while to enjoy the bird. Yeah. Bird helps my sanity. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Ooh, and chocolate. Okay, I feel like if anything's gonna help my sanity. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit of chocolate. That'll go a long way. Atlas the Ancient Ward. Can I actually look at some of these things I'm picking up? Collection text, articles of cultism. Useful to a time travel. Books are very outdated. But with pictures, can I read these? No. Lots of money for treasure, lots of money for treasure. Okay. Sort of a strange feeling I meant to die in this game and restart over, because, um. Oh, well, hold up. No, I'm still in the same area. Don't be too, too afraid. I'm too concerned. I feel like that's not somewhere I want to go, but... Oh, it's a... It's an anchor? And a bloody key. Okay. Weird. Oh, over there. There's a perfect little model of this very area. There's a model of me, too. Knock it in and knock some stuff over. Fascinating. That's actually reasonable. It's better than just getting creeped out by the fact that I was in it. Like, this is a like, voodoo house. A little bit concerning, yes, but we are in a Lovecraftian horror. I shouldn't pick this up. I shouldn't pick this up. I shouldn't pick this up. Okay, I didn't pick it up. Fantastic. Um, I also don't want to go all this way, so can we go back? I just want to be able to see where I've been coming from as well. Alright, got a fireplace. Let's search the ashes. Fireplace is used to burn documents. Can't make much out of the fragments of paper, but there are a few names, locations might help my investigation. Make a note of. Okay, more info. I'm assuming info is the way I level up, but I don't actually entirely know where that goes or what that means i was looking can't help but notice i'm still definitely 
Hmm. I feel like I'm still definitely in a bad position. Though, I'm definitely... There's still money. I'm getting money and I'm getting info. Which implies that this is not going to be... Everything. Some chest here. Alright, another bloody key. Lovely. Chocolate. Keep eating that, because the more I regain my sanity, the better. I definitely did a lot of evil things before, though. Hi, friends. Hi. Nope, 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 nope. Not gonna happen, guys. Like, here's the thing. You guys are actually less scary than anything else I've dealt with right now. And that's including this Cthulian Hell Beast. Which, quite frankly... I am happy because I have a shotgun with unlimited ammo. So, more of that, please. Less of the scary. Alright. Alright. There's plenty of loot in here, at least. And I can probably heal myself, like, straight away. There we go. See? I need to be concerned at all. Okay. A little bit concerned. A little bit concerned. Gotta say. Alright. Oh, shit. Ow! Okay, I feel like I probably should have noticed that, yeah. Let's put on a bandage so I stop bleeding and, uh, give myself that healing again. If I die, I die, so it's fine, but, uh, I would rather not die. Well, then again, I'd rather die than, than be killed, you know? Like, by something else. Okay, my bleeding's going, but I do not have another bandage, so... Oh, hello, there's another cultist in here. Oh, there's actually multiple cultists, just... Including one that has a machine gun. I saw one before like that, but no thank you. Okay. Surprisingly, I'm still okay after that, so we're okay, we're good. I'm gonna re reload, and uh, maybe do another he healing. Oh good, the healing of any... Oh, fudge. A bloody lock. Well, we have a bloody key, so... Alright. Bloody lock, bloody key. Makes sense. Makes sense indeed. Okay. Hmm. We can still explore over here as well, but quite frankly, I think I'll just walk over there slowly for the other direction. I actually like this part of the dungeon a lot more. I was getting quite scared over there. I, I know I know that'll shock you, because I'm, I'm such a strong person in these games. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely... Ooh. Hello. Oh no, it's just me bleeding to death slowly. Let's uh, do one of those so I can actually hopefully heal myself. Okay, we're fine. Okay, silver lock. Place the silver key. Get the silver treasure. Sounds fair enough. Maybe this is only the first of multiple levels and we get to go around in lots of other places too. Oh, hello. Oh, um, can I please reload? Thank you. Surprisingly, the Cthulian creature itself is not that scary, so... Yeah, the fact I'm getting treasure in all this is actually probably a good sign. Oh, shit. Nope. Okay, everything makes me bleed, which is a little bit unfun, but that's okay. I mean, it's not unfun, it's, it's actually very reasonable in terms of... Oh god, ow, 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 ow. Keep going, keep going. Whew. Okay, it's not, they're not all gone, but, oh, it's just one of those guys. Okay. Honestly, the Cthulian horrors are, at least this one, is not that bad. Yeah, okay, we're fine. We're fine. And we got back over to where we came from originally over there before, which is nice. So that's, that's a pleasant thing. Okay, we're actually also finding more bandages, which is actually very nice, to say the least. Okay. Isla is ahead of an octopus. Fair enough. I don't want to go in there yet. No, I want to explore more. Ooh, hello. I will definitely take that. Yes. This guy is going to be so addicted to all the drugs by the time he leaves this place. Like, we've just been going around picking up tons of random stuff and just, like, shoving them in our throats. I realize that's what happens in these games, but seriously. Okay. Since there is enemies, I definitely prefer this game now. Enemies are much less pain, less scary than silence. And oh god, I just shot out the gun. I just shot out the, the lights. I feel like I do not wish to shut out the lights in a Cthulian game. No, no thank you. 
<laughs> Honestly, the quiet areas. Yes, yes, I know. I gathered that. It's fine. I knew that was going to happen. I did it anyway. I feel like I would be... Oh, lovely. It's soaked. The print is hard to make out. Declaration. The governor of New York, okay, so it's America, released this statement. Laws prohibiting suicide and providing punishment for any attempt at self-destruction have been repealed. The government seen fit to acknowledge the right of man to end its existence being intolerant to him. Okay, so... I mean, what are you going to do if someone commits suicide, exactly? Who are you going to punish? They'll be dead. I guess you could punish um, people who, are, who attempt suicide, but, like, what's that going to accomplish? You'll just make them want to do it again. Oh, well, that's terrifying. Oh, well. Daniel Morris, have you read the name somewhere else? Don't know. Hopefully you do. I'm guessing that when I leave this place, I'll be able to do a level up of some description with this, this stuff I'm getting. Well, this is creepy. Strangely enough, a fully lit room is more creepy for me right now than a room full of enemies. Alright. Castro has followed accepted the barbarians of the bayou. Okay, fair enough. More chocolate. I don't actually know if I need that. I think my sanity is actually reasonable at the moment. Okay, that door seems very much like a boss door of some description, but same token, it's also here. Old cellar door. As slabs cut into its shape, anchor, and some kind of octopus. Ah. You know what? No, I'm not going to do that yet. Can I pick back up the... Okay, pick back up the uh, the head. I feel like blowing the... Okay, maybe I should go in there. It feels like maybe this is a... Okay, just place it. It's fine. And place the anchor. Okay, open it. Turn back around. Nope, we cannot turn back around. Oh, great. Is this the boss of the area already? Or is this like a bonus area i can't tell okay that gets next person i'm looking for which is lovely um sorry can i just not die okay i wasn't expecting this one no that's a bleeding no not gonna bleed ow 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 ow, ow. okay actually let's try not to die here excuse me excuse me friend this is just non-stop Okay. Holy hell. Oh, was that... Wait, what? Oh, I didn't mean to skip all that. I think I even left the loop behind. Can I go back, please? Like... Oh, well... Wait, what is this place? Oh! Information about the old one. So this must be my, my hob area. So I was right, and this is a, that was only a small area. We also got a bunch of different items we found. Okay, calves and nerves, seals and wounds. I mean, fair enough. These clothes, it's me. Wait, what? Wait, did I just find my own bones and kill myself? I mean, that, does, that, that definitely does sound like a very Cthulian thing to happen, yes. So, don't look too closely at everything or I'll die. Gotcha. Good, that right there is a self-fulfilling prophecy, though. You find a... Level selection, maybe? Definitely feels like level selection. Can I go back to the last area? Because, uh... I definitely did not finish exploring everything, no. Okay. Alright, I guess I can go back out that way now. Uh, 
And there's my teleporter. Okay, there's my teleporter. Alright, well what else do I have here then? I have... Is this a shop? Strange storage place. Anything you brought with you can keep an unlimited amount of time and anyone who gets in this room can pick it up. Oh. Okay. Fascinating. Let's see. If I can just put all this stuff away, can I? Well, I would not really want to, though. I mean, probably should, because my inventory is a little bit full. Um, let's just at least throw away all these things I don't really need right now. I don't know what this is. But it feels important to have it. So, let's have that one. Everything else, though, here is fairly... Eh. Nothing I really can do with a lot of this stuff, so that's okay. I want to find out if there's anything I can sell these treasures to, so we'll keep them on me. Someone's spine. I feel like I don't really need to sell that or keep that, so... I also think I probably do want to keep that on me. Alright. Scan completed. You feel safe now. Oh. Is that also like a save point then? Okay, so what is this? Okay, just a door. It doesn't seem to do anything. Gotcha. Must be where I returned from. Okay. Place unknown. Place unknown. Okay. Can't not go look at the skeleton to me, because then I'll shoot myself in the head, you know, as you do. These do not appear to be doing anything, but I'm guessing... Okay, I'm guessing I get to go back here now. Yes. Wait, no, just to hospital. Never mind. No, I'm just somewhere else now. And somewhere else dark and creepy as well. Lovely. I think I see the loop here now. I think I'm done for now. I don't see anything wrong with this. However, I probably want to come back with someone else to jump off of. And to talk to, if I was to do this again. I don't think it's co-op. It doesn't feel like that sort of game. It also has questionable reviews. I did see someone say that the difficulty curve gets uh, incredibly hard over time. Oh, great. Zombie doctors. Beautiful. Yeah, it's going to be a bunch of little crafting horror tropes. At least now I know not to go for the door. In fact, I kind of just want to... If I was to play again, I'd probably want to replay that first segment because there's definitely spaces that I missed. Oh well. It's okay. I do wonder what happens when... Oh, Dunwich. Lovely. What happens when my sanity goes really, really low? Do I really want to die in this game? Well, might not have a choice by the looks of it. Yeah, this stuff is, uh... Okay. Examine it. Makes no sense. I can't see how this works. There are cogs standing alone. Wires will touch everything. A light bulb not plugged in. Pipes going nowhere. A lunatic child is locked inside. Looks inside a rare radio or clock and tried to make one out of all the Why did, I sh did I shoot by mistake? I guess I did. Okay, I'm just going to keep going for a little bit longer until I no doubt die. Um, and then I'll leave it at that. Or more accurately, probably go insane. Because I'm kind of curious as to what happens if I go insane. I hope it doesn't get really scary if I go insane. But quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised. Yep, there goes my sanity a bit more. Oh yeah, I definitely feel that this is not going to end well for me. I reckon he'll just kill himself when I get too low sanity. There we go. Expected result. 
And... Okay, fair. I guess you have a shotgun. The angst has prevented you from dying. Fascinating. Alright, well, fair enough then. Huh. Didn't even notice it was far off. Anyway, I think we're done here. I see how this game works. It's not as as hard as I was thinking it was. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like I need to go back through and, and recreate and refinish chapter one before I do anything else if I was to replay this game. Not as bad as I was... Well, I mean, it, yeah, it was worse than I was expecting because it was more horror than I was expecting, but I, I, I handled it okay, I hope. But now, though, this has been Lovecraft's Untold Stories. Definitely not my idea of a fun time, but it's interesting enough to give, me so, give it a go. So, yeah. I definitely prefer the combat than I do the uh, spooky Lovecraftian horror stuff. So, uh, yay. See you all next time. Goodbye.